just uh, Stallone. Yeah, yeah. You, you did an Arnold list, and now you gotta do Stallone. Stallone, he's awesome. I do the boxing, and I uh, do the police officers, I do comedies, because I'm Stallone. <laughs> That was a terrible impression, I'm sorry guys, but uh, welcome to my tier ranking of Sylvester Stallone movies, all the movies I have seen. Sadly, I've seen quite a few of Stallone's movies. <laughs> and yeah, he's got some he's got some good ones, some fun ones, and some just not so great ones, but uh, <laughs> I did Arnold, I gotta do Stallone now, so here we go, here's my tier ranking for Sylvester Stallone's movies, all the ones I've seen. S is the best, F is the worst. I gotta, I gotta start off with the Rocky movies. Like, this is the franchise that made him who he is. So, let's start with uh, Rocky 1. Wherever it is. Where the fuck is it? Rocky 1. That's an S tier. It's one of his best movies. It's amazing. It's the, it's the ultimate underdog story. Stallone as Rocky Balboa is iconic. It's fantastic. Apollo Creed, Carl Weathers is amazing. The late relationship he has with Pauly, and what he has with um, Mickey and Adrian, it's it's great. It's meaningful. It's deep. It's it's Rocky. It's the perfect boxing movie. It's like amazing. And I'll even say uh, Rocky Two is super good as well. Where is it? <laughs> Where's Rocky 2? That's that's not Rocky 2, is it? Yeah, I think. Uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, that's Rocky. Rocky 2 is a B tier. I really enjoy Rocky 2. I, I love that it talks more about like the fame he uh, Rocky has to go through after the match he had with Apollo Creed and stuff and they easily could have just made it an exact, like, replica of the first film, but they didn't. They actually tried to do something a lot more different and tackle more of a deep and traumatic story, and I really appreciate Rocky 2. Rocky 3, I have a soft spot for. It's not very, like, engaging as the first two, but I still enjoy it, and Clubber Lang, Mr. T, is always fun. And then Rocky 4. I, 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 I enjoy Rocky for for uh all the wrong reasons but i still love it it's the, such a stupid ridiculous over the top movie but that's exactly why i love it <laughs> um rocky five is not very good it's a very boring movie that shouldn't have even existed um rocky balboa though that's a solid flick that's a b tier as well it's Again, and it went back to the roots of what Rocky really is. A very deep, dramatic story. Then we got Creed. Creed is basically just Rocky, but with Creed. I loved Creed when he came out in the like, near the beginning stages. Like I thought Creed was like on the same level as Rocky. But after watching it a bunch of times over the years, it really kind of like lost its edge. And yeah, it's it's a good movie. Like I think Michael B. Jordan is good as as Adonis Creed, and I think Stallone is very good in the movie as well. And the shots are very well uh, laid out. And Ryan Coogler is knows what he's doing as a filmmaker, but it's it just it has way too many similarities to the first Rocky, and just I don't know. There's a lot of moments that just kind of bore the ever living shit out of me in the movie, and I really hate Tessa Thompson in the film. <laughs> I really can't stand her. But I think Creed Two is a lot better, though. That one did something unique and actually made Rocky Four a lot more. Uh, sorry, moving my chair. It made Rocky Four a lot more important than it ever should have been. And I love that he has to fight like. Uh, Drago and his son and stuff. That sucks great. I really enjoyed that. So there you go. This is that's my that's my tier ranking of the Rocky films. If anyone wanted to know. <laughs> uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, that's eight films. All right, now let's do the big uh, other big franchise. Let's talk about John Rambo. First Blood, A tier, great fucking movie. Rambo is a great story about. This Vietnam soldier coming back and getting mistreated. And he has to survive against these like corrupt police officers who are basically trying to kill him and stuff. Really brutal, very deep story. And Stallone really 
puts on his acting chops in this film, and he is so good. And it's actually a very heartbreaking story, and it's very good. Um, the Rambo movies turn into ridiculousness after the first one. The first one was a legit excellent film, and then the second one just. The second and third one are just not very good to me. Like, they, they turn into just silly, stupid, mindless action films. When everyone thinks of Rambo, they think of these films. Like, him, John Rambo, with the, the rocket launcher, and the Uzi, and the flaming bow and arrow blowing shit up and everything. But that's not... What, Rambo was a deep story about a man who was very broken after coming back from war and being mistreated. Just, there was so much to... John Rambo, and it was lost. And I'll I'll admit the, the Rambo Four is a lot more fun. It's very brutal, and there there could be there's a lot of fun, cool scenes in it, but still not as good as that first Rambo. And unpopular opinion, Rambo Lost Blood, super underrated. I actually quite enjoyed Rambo Lost Blood. It has the goofiness of these, but also has a little seriousness of the first Rambo. Uh, still not as good as the first Rambo, though. Um, what other ones? The Expendables. Oh, I hate these fucking movies. <laughs> first Expendables was so boring. It was so stupid. I remember I was so pumped and so excited to see the first Expendables. And it came out the same week as Scott Pilgrim. I could care less about Scott Pilgrim. And I wanted to see the Expendables. Hated the Expendables. Saw Scott Pilgrim. Loved Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> Expendables 2 is... Oh, God, it's, it's it's bad, too. It's stupid. Expendables 3 is the worst, though. That's a fucking terrible-ass movie. Like, at least the first two had some, like, at least bloody action scenes. This one turned to a PG movie. <laughs> it's dumb. Then there's Escape Plan. It was kind of stupid and silly, but I kind of had a little fun with it. It was Stallone and Schwarzenegger in a film. Then they made a stupid direct-to-sequel movie, and it was trash, but... <laughs> Um. Ah. All right. All right. Let's get in order now. Um, over the top. I love over the top. It's a super over the top film. It's about arm wrestling, but it's also like a road trip movie of the father and son. It is so silly, so ridiculous, over the top. But I fucking love it. I love it. Same with Cliffhanger. I love Cliffhanger. I think it's so ridiculous. I love John Lithgow and all that. It is so dumb. But I fucking love it. It's the only movie directed by Rennie Hartland I think that is actually enjoyable. <laughs> Driven. Ugh, Driven. It's a terrible film. Same with, oh, Grudge Match. Ugh, terrible film. Assassins. This movie could have been so fun. But it isn't. It is a stupid movie. Him and Ontario, Antonio, Antonio Banderas. Ugh, it's a terrible film. Uh, I've talked about Tango and Cash already, and Demolition Man. Both I really enjoy. Both good buddy. This is a buddy cop movie. This is just a really cool, interesting science fiction action film. I've talked about both of these already. Both good. Even Cobra. I I, I have moments of enjoyment in Cobra. It's really fucking dumb and it makes absolutely no sense at all. But I kind of enjoy. It. Get Carter is. Forgettable and generic. Ants. He's an ants. I like ants. Ants is a pretty good film. Daylight. So dumb. Stallone in the sewers. Catching criminals. Kind of like it though. <laughs> Death Race 2000. This is what started his career. It's a fun film. Not amazing, but it's fun. Fist. Fist is pretty underrated. It's about like labor unions and stuff. Love it. I want to say love it. I enjoy it. Guardians 2. He's not very big in it. I'd put in the 8 here. But I gotta put him in beach here because he's he's not super like big in the film. Nighthawks, kind of forgettable, but he's pretty good in it. Spy Kids 3D, it's a terrible film. Terrible film. Rhinestone, embarrassing film. Him and Dolly Parton, the country movie. <laughs> it's, it's so dumb. Uh, Ratchet and Clank could have been a lot better. Um, the Suicide Squad, I put in the beach here. It's pretty fun. Um, Bullet to the Head, D tier. And then Judge Dredd, C tier. <laughs> well, that was fast. <laughs> I thought that would, would last a lot longer, but... 
To be honest, I thought he, he would have a lot more better movies. Hmm, that's a little disappointing. Yeah, but I guess Rocky's is only S tier for me, and First Blood is his only A. Well, in the B tier. For the B tier, uh, let's put this in order. Um, I gotta put Rocky Balboa and Rocky 2, and then Creed 2. And then I'm gonna put Tango and Cash. Demolition Man. Then I put Yum Yum. <laughs> Suicide Squad. Then Over the Top. Then the Rambo, Cliffhanger, Ant, Fist, and Guardians 2. I want to put Guardians 2 higher, but he's not very big in it, so I can't. Alright, for the C tier. I'll keep the Rocky movies like together. Then the Rambo. Escape Plan. Put Judge Dredd up here. Put Death Race around there. Yeah, that sounds about right. For the D tier, Bolt of the Head is dumb, but at least it's got a couple of moments I like. Zip Carter. Actually, I'll put the fucking Rambo movies. Um, Driven's the worst. So, yeah. And for the F tier, I think. Yeah, Rhinestone is the worst movies. <laughs> so yeah, that was my tier ranking of Sylvester Stallone films. So let me know in the comments section below. Please tell me what is your favorite and least favorite Sylvester Stallone film. And as always, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to this channel and join the dark side.